Today we're looking at all the auctions ending in the first weekend of October, being between Friday the 4th of October and Sunday the 6th of October. There are quite a lot to get through here. So starting with this red stripe yellow belly spot nose clown. And we showed this during our live stream. And again, thank you to everyone who keeps coming out to those. We had a lot of chatter in the chat this time, which I really like uh, to see. That was awesome. Really active community there. Uh, but this guy is really cool and really powerful. He's one gene shy of the Pompeii, in fact, and that would be the black pastel gene. This will end very soon after the video comes out. So if you're interested in him, don't delay. He doesn't have any bids right now. And that's because he's got a fairly high starting bid, which is honestly well well worth it. Uh, he's got a good amount of power to him. He's worth more than this for sure. I suspect he'll get uh, some activity near the end. On top of that, there is another one here and that would be this spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown, a boy from Steel City Mutations. This is a little ways off, but you can kind of see here there's already 12 bids at 300 bucks. So a hundred bucks shy of this one right here where it started, it's definitely worth it. There is some difference here, a lot more granulation here in this one here. I'll leave it up to which one you decide you want that you like better, but they're both phenomenal animals and they can go beyond what a Pompeii maker would be, obviously. They're very well suited to do that, that's for sure. Uh, but you can do tons of different directions with a, a male like this. You can work them into Batman complexes as well, which would look amazing if you get a female with leopard. And uh, obviously there's that Pompeii route. You get a female with black pastel uh, and those, those would not be incredibly expensive females to get and also be visual clowns at this point so take advantage of the fact that prices are down right now it's a good time to add for sure another one that we showed off in our auction video would be this monsoon 50 percent head hypo it does have a reserve i'm sure it's up there a bit I and mean, i don't know if this one will go quite frankly but if it's anywhere below eight thousand so dollars it's a deal in terms of what monsoons go for especially since it's 50 percent head hypo if you did win this you would immediately want to send this off for a shed test it would be so incredibly cool if you were able to pick up a visual monsoon that ended up being 50 percent head hypo because then that just opens the door for an even more incredible project monsoon i i don't know about how much you can do in terms of pattern enhancement with monsoons i mean they're already bonkers nuts right let me look at this thing uh, but but color is one of the things you can do with monsoon there's a whole bunch of different color type things but a lot of people don't uh, think about the fact that you can also work uh, some of the enhancement type genes like hypo or desert ghost into this uh, which are less color and more uh, saturation really uh, but this would be a really nice girl to get why does it say pet only not pet only even say it there that's weird but I, like I said, I don't know if an animal like this will go. If you are, let's just say you wanted a monsoon and you were going to buy into monsoon and you were ready to fork over all the money. Well, why not kind of give a shot at this? Because it's going to go less than that, probably. So let's just say you're willing to spend up to 5,000 bucks. So you take this up in little increments. So you probably bid 1,000, 1,200. You just kind of walk it up, right? Walk it up until either one of two things happens. The reserve falls off or it reaches 5,000 and you're not interested anymore and therefore you don't have to bid on it, the reserve price not being met means that the auction would just go null and void as soon as it ends uh, in 19 hours from filming this. But just a good way to do anything with a reserve. That's how you should approach the strategy. Obviously, this is a more extreme amount that it would probably be, but that is how you should approach reserve price bidding, in my opinion, because you don't want to just start with 5,000. I mean, what if it ended earlier than that? What if they set their thing for even crazy low, like a, like, 3,000 or 4,000, you're just wasting that much money because it goes straight up. It's not eBay here. It doesn't go to 805 and then start out bidding people. No, it just, it shoots right on up there. This one is incredibly awesome. That would be this male, 100% het monarch, 100% het clown. Obviously being a boy, it's much more ideal to have your visuals in boys. Go find me a monarch clown at a price that you can afford. I'll wait. I actually just produced 100% het monarch, het clowns myself. They have pastel. Every single one of them is pastel in fact, because it came from a killer clown. And they have Russo spattering amongst it. So I'll be releasing a little bit of a thing on that so for people to see, but we'll have a lot of them will be available, honestly. I'll be keeping one male at least and probably all the females, quite frankly. Sorry, it depends on how many I got, but I think I got way more males, which is unfortunate, but I'll probably be keeping every single one of my females, so. They, but this is a way to get into this project, to get into Monarch, and then honestly, it's just the double. Like you already have the reset, the double recessive boy here. You would just need to pick up a girl. They, they won't be cheap, but this is the way to go for many people who don't have a whole bunch of money. And Monarch clowns are 
absolutely gorgeous. This is an incredible opportunity to get into this sort of a morph. It doesn't show a size, but it says 2023 and it looks like it could be a little big. So yeah, honestly, this could be a great opportunity for somebody. Uh, no bids right now, not a single one with 20 hours left to go. Definitely consider doing this if this is the project you want to pursue, but you don't have a whole bunch of money laying around to do it. Definitely a good opportunity here to be had for somebody. And talking about double recessives would be this nice desert ghost het clown girl. Very nice for doing something on a budget. Uh, 50 bucks, nine bids right now. It means the interest is high, but the, the bidding is low. I don't know what this will end at, but uh, if you wanna work the desert ghost clown project, uh, it's nice to have girls like this around uh, that are cheaper. And, and think about this, you could get yourself a clown het desert ghost boy, probably also very cheap. And if that's what you wanna do, start working for those double visuals like this in this specific project, that's a great way to do it. I would highly recommend getting something with some extra genetics into it too. Leopard would be outstanding, they always works really nice with desert ghost because it really emboldens those blacks there's so many other options i can throw out there even in the other direction without the blacks with the laces and, and other such stuff like that 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 desert ghost just really just pops it just makes it really nice and then on top of that hitting clown that would be great so if you get yourself a boy like i said pack him with some jeans if you want to do it cheaper get the clown hat desert ghost uh, the reason i say this is because everything that you breed uh, will have one of uh, four different results it'll be either double head and you don't have to worry about any 66% hats. You don't have to guess. You don't have to send in for a shit test in this case even. You would know. If I didn't hit, well, that sucks, but it is a double hat. You would know this because right? it, it must pass on one copy of its visual gene. You would also get Desert Ghost Het Clowns like this girl. You basically recreate her. I mean, you know again that the hat was in there and then you'd clown Desert het. Ghost. And the fourth result would be, well, the double visual desert ghost clown and you can see here there's uh, desert ghost clowns for males alone are going for about fifteen hundred dollars and obviously if we're looking at things with a lot more uh, crazy power to it it kind of goes up from there so from on a relatively cheap budget you can create something awesome uh, that monetarily is is basically guaranteed to get you your money back because even if the prices were to drop it would still be way more than the prices that you're looking at there for sale. Really cool opportunity for someone wanting to work with the Desert Ghost Clown Projects. Next up would be this banana chocolate het desert ghost. And we showed this one off in our live stream as well. I remember we commenting about the crazy paradoxing. I'm assuming it's paradoxing of the X marks the spot right on its head. Banana and chocolate go together well. I love how it kind of just mellows it out a little bit. It, it creates almost like a banana, like a dessert type look, like a, like a banana split. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I'm just making stuff up, I guess, but it, it definitely it does kind of not what I would expect as chocolate's a little bit more of a dark gene and this kind of mellows it out in a way. Um, I do like it though, but it almost looks like it's, it is hypo. Um, ironically, it is Desert Ghost though. And that was why it has a whole bunch of power to it because if you get this female along with, you know, some other Desert Ghosts that you want to work, you're going to be hitting something that emboldens all of the banana beautifulness and all of the chocolate richness uh, if you get the visual version. And it wouldn't be that all difficult to do. This is really affordable right now, 85 bucks. Again, we all know it's gonna climb in that last five to 10 minute frantic hit, but it, I, I don't know by how much, you know, sometimes you can gauge that by what it's at right now. And it's kind of low right now. I think it's a great opportunity. I think it's an amazing opportunity, honestly. If you work Desert Ghost, again, on a budget, or even if you're not on a budget, this is a great opportunity. Just a beautiful animal. A lot of crazy potential to make something even more insane. Another really nice one here would be this yellow belly hurricane clown female. Another gene that I don't see a whole bunch of representation on the local level at least. Big shows, I, I see it a good amount, honestly. Uh, but that that is a really cool gene. It's, it's very much in the uh, kind of uh, jumbling it up kind of uh, category of genes. If that's a category I can make up on my own. But it is it is incredible and it works well in terms of other genes too. Honestly, it enhances coloring when paired with other things. This is a nice little yellow belly as well. And I think that the hurricane, honestly, at least when I see it anyways, paired with other genes like clown and, and well, yellow belly. Yellow belly pairs well with a lot of different things. And you see this nice little rusty red starting to come in. It's a really nice girl here uh, that you could pick up to kind of enhance your clown projects. If you want to do something cool, unique, that makes you stand out. And again, not on a crazy amount of money either. A little more than our last one that we looked at, that's for sure. But that's to be expected from a visual clown that looks this great. And I think though it'll end still at a reasonable amount. If you are interested, definitely put your hat in the ring on this girl here. 
We've had a lot of luck talking about Redhead lately in these videos, and that's not going to change today, although I think this might be the only one we have. It is an incredible example, and this would be this Redhead Black Pastel 100% Head Clown Female. Another one in the female. I love it because you get yourself a clown male with some other genetics in there, and you're easily creating Redhead Black Pastel with, I don't know, <laughs> some other crazy jeans in there too that would just really really pop and if you don't believe me this is just a redhead clown right here uh, from canova wow just insane it's it's just like very rusty on top very granulated pattern almost looks like an earthquake just kind of splitting in like a movie absolutely incredible in the orangeness to it the orange chingy look the rustiness and you can see that it it you know in other combos like look here the redhead leopard clown almost looks like a batman already but with an oranger type like flavor to it there's just a lot of variety here just a whole whole bunch of variety of what redhead does and it's so amazing because it's so subtle by itself you would look at it and again just like with yellow belly just scoff you'd be like that's silly i don't want that it doesn't very much do anything uh, it's another incredible one like that that just works so well and it's so funny that some of these jeans that are just so subtle just do so much when they're paired with the right things there's probably a metaphor in there about that but this girl don't sleep on this i don't care what the price is it's 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 very much worth it especially where it's at right now and you can see that the amount of interest in this girl i i would love to have something like this on board uh, for sure another wonderful animal also from ball python should be this lace clown boy this specifically is so cool because you can use him to breed lace into a lot of different things lace is an incomplete dominant which means it does have a super form known as the white lace and that is what this boy would do for you he is probably not a long-term investment but he would be a short-term one to breed into other combinations that that is the ideal thing is to breed him into many different other combinations as you can and, and kind of eventually move on from him and give that opportunity for someone else to do the same thing later uh, not that he doesn't have enough power in him but but obviously eventually when lace begins to propagate being an incomplete dominant it's easier to get into things eventually that value will drop and you'll have combos with even more you'll have maybe a lace yellow belly blackhead clown someday if it's with the preparing you do and of course at that point he doesn't have as much use depending on the size of your collection but in the meantime he's going to do a lot for you it's crazy how quickly you can kind of just plug and play some of these things. You get an animal and you know maybe it's a three to four year animal for you and then you move on from it. But it does so much for you. And then you don't have to buy into these creations. You create them yourself and kind of go from there. Lace is a gene that needs more work. It needs a lot more work. And there's already enough proof that it does amazing things. And if you don't believe me, again, we will show off Canova's videos of these. Look at the Cypress Special Lace Clown. That's, that's... Just two other jeans from the one that we just saw. And that's what it looks like. That's wild. That is absolutely one of the most beautiful looking animals I've ever seen. Here's another one. This is a white lace. It's the uh, uh, super form. And then you see another one here. The Fire Russo Spot Nose Lace Clown. Russo is one of my favorite uh, jeans that is an enhancement gene as well. That's why I'm working it into my own clown monarch project. Uh, but just so incredible what it can do. So another one that's semi-subtle. That does a whole, whole bunch for your breeding projects. So don't sleep on this one. I, I feel like it'll end a little bit lower than many others, and it shouldn't. It can do a lot for you. You've just seen it right there, how crazy that is. Just two more genes can create something so spectacularly electric. This is incredible. Incredible. This might be the darkest stranger I've ever seen, and it is a stranger, but it also is 100% head pied and 66% head clown. And boy, oh boy, would I hope and pray that this girl proves out as head clown with how incredible she looks. Whew. I mean, heck, she's already 100% head pied, so she's already useful in that regard, but so much opportunity here. And I, again, I don't know if I've ever seen one so dark ever just incredible what else is there to say she says all the words another one from bull python shed have they all been from Bull? they have <laughs> the last few have all been from bull python shed so buy them all the shipping's free anyways apparently but if you're gonna be at tintley i believe that they yeah they'll be there and they'll probably just bring it in to you this girl has a whole bunch of just i i'm speechless at how dark she is like for real 
that that is incredible and and just again the fact of the extra hats there yeah. this is a must send to to our gi shed test it is a must send because you get yourself a male and and clown pods are not expensive i would probably immediately go for a visual clown pod boy with some other spice on top of it. you can find them on the on these auctions here quite often honestly the boys uh, they have come down and well, there's still a healthy amount but nothing bank breaking in my opinion uh, but the point is is that you want to get as many chances as you can to hit the visual and yeah. that would give you the most chances because i guarantee you that animal will make you uh you'll want to keep it <laughs> but but if you did sell it you'd make your money back and then some quite a bit in fact so from just from a monetary point but the look of it would be outstanding has it been done it might have been done but i i do not see it on just a quick glance i know stranger clowns have been done i know stranger pides have been done i'm not sure if the double has yet i'm sure it has i'm sure it has so if somebody knows just you know Throw it out there if you know who did it. I would appreciate it because I want to go see it. This is an incredible opportunity right here. This would be a sunset head clown boy and it doesn't have a reserve. Oh my, if you're into sunset, you have to be into this. You have to. You can see here a lot of what these sunset clowns will look like. They, they brighten up quite a bit. They're beautiful. They're a lot lighter than, than just a normal sunset, in my opinion. And you can see it here, quite frankly. This is from Captive Bread Specialties right here. They're a lot lighter. In, in the only knock I ever hear about sunset is that they brown out, that they get too dark as they age. And fair enough, uh, but the point is, is yet, it doesn't seem like it takes too much to stop that. Banana sunsets are probably one of my favorite looking ones. Probably my favorite looking one. Uh, lavender, it's a recessive, but still just a double. And, and these really serve to lighten them up quite Quite a bit and prevent any of that brown out and while it's already got the, the clown there you have it go go get yourself a clown head sunset girl or you know and if you don't have the the funds for that which i don't think it'd be too too nuts especially for what you'd be creating would be a lot of potential there and a lot of monetary value just from that point of view uh, but even if you didn't a double hat would be perfectly fine it, it's already 100 percent so un unbelievable that there's no reserve on this Just take advantage if you're into this for sure there are some monarchs available that didn't look like they went up too long ago i think they're a little bit more of a quick turnaround but uh, the spot nose monarch here it uh, looks like it just went up i love monarch in, in the dark purpley mahogany pattern this one's pretty dark honestly I'm in that pattern Pattern, but I believe that that's the spot nose because you look here at what that animal is the clown version of it I, I had to show the clown version of it because that's this is the animal that got me into it You can kind of see it's even more dark and almost like a reddish maroon type pattern coloring in between and that's probably why this one is a little bit more dark in there. But uh, that's immediately where my mind goes is I'm getting clown into this instantaneously. Uh, but a lot of cool potential there. It's just started. I'm sure that it's definitely gonna get bit up here pretty soon. Here's another one that since I've even uh, clicked on here has gone up in price and that would be this monsoon male and a female Mojave 66% hat monsoon. So you got a bit of a, a pairing here. You got a good chance that this one ends up proven out in terms of just the cost. Uh, usually there's some markers and a lot of that it means so you have a 66% chance that she ends up proving out, but regardless, you get a male and uh, that boy alone would probably be well worth it. Depending on what the reserve price is, there is a reserve on this. So again, just like I said earlier, just kind of bid up to where you're comfortable in increments um, and then just stop it there. And that's how I recommend it. Free shipping though, if that means anything to you on such an expensive animal, but it should because shipping is not cheap. So great opportunity to start working uh, some monsoon projects right off the bat. Here's a little bit of a cheaper one, but I wanted to show off kind of how I'm thinking about this. And that would be this pastel asphalt 50% het pied. The point of this is that a lot of times you look up asphalt and it's it's either asphalt or yellow belly. The fact of the matter is that this is 50% het pied, so you can have this sent for a shed test and find out if, you, if you've got a het pied on your hands. And you could immediately start working the freeway pied projects. Freeways are obviously always awesome. The, the reason I mention this is because asphalt girls are not as easy to come by at least in my opinion not for freeway projects anyways because the freeway project is, is always very popular it markets itself because it's a reasonably priced animal but yet incredibly cool looking it, it applies itself towards breeders and pet owners alike so so there's a lot of cool potential there I don't want to spend a bunch of time but but just kind of think about that when you see these sorts of things that you're basically getting a asphalt you know it's an asphalt uh, but you might get lucky if you send in the shed test and also get a pied and then have an extra bit of stuff to work on there 
This girl here is absolutely gorgeous. And it shouldn't surprise us from Rubber City Royals, but this hurricane red stripe spot nose clown is just absolutely outstanding. I think the first time I ever seen Rubber City Royals was at the Schomburg show. And it really blew me away. Their animals, their quality. And it really shines right here as well. We already talked about Hurricane and whatnot and what it can do, but you see what another subtle gene like Red Stripe is doing here. Obviously, a gene that really just, when, when paired with other things, just shines. Really brings in these nice rusty reds. And what I really like about it, honestly, is the granulation. How you have something so clean. How you have the black bulb and then the rusty reds, but the rusty reds are granulated, but it doesn't bleed into the other parts of the snake. When you can control the chaos like that, and now you have multiple layers of contrast. You have colored contrast with the oranges, the yellows, emboldened and separated by these deep, dark blacks. You have shading contrast because you have dark. You have a little bit more of a lightish, yellowy, tingy orange. And then you have something that's shadowy, something that's a little more faded. And then you have contrast of how clean it is because you have a deep, clean, color a deep black you have something that's more light and mostly clean and then you have something that's controlled chaos so you're layering contrast on each other and that's how you get something that's outstanding contrast is king i say it all the time because i think it's the truth when you can layer them on top of each other and tell a awesome story like this snake does it's outstanding anyways <laughs> the animal is only is only at 300 bucks with nine bids right now it's got a about a day and a half from when this video comes out it, it, it is well worth it and in such incredible quality i can't stated enough that this would be a powerhouse star for your clown projects uh, without any doubt in my mind. Sterling Nelson is back with a lot of breeders or near breeders again. This is incredible opportunities here because these are things that are going to get you right in to where you want to be. And this confusion head clown is going to do that for you pretty quick. You're going to get her at nearly breeding size. I don't know if she'll be ready for this season, but she can probably be ready very early next year or definitely for next season at, at just 400 roughly more grams if you go by the 1500 gram rule. Um, and the reason why she's so important and so cool is because she's probably gonna go cheap and she's a confusion head clown. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a confusion clown. Wow. Show me another animal that has the, the belly pattern of a hog nose yet in a bull python. Confusion does this absolutely nuts and that's just the belly you start to see some of the stuff it does with the animal itself these just beautiful burnt oranges and the different levels of it you have dark medium and light unbelievable what it can do and this is what this girl affords you on a budget so do not sleep on this she's already almost ready you can still create awesome things on a budget and that animal is awesome uh, another one from sterling nelson would be this lace yellow belly head clown we just talked about lace we talked about how yellow belly how they're both kind of subtle but you saw what they do in those animals you saw how awesome lace is and what it can do here's the enchi you've got lace you've got yellow belly you've already got some of the ingredients of this animal right here there's a cypress yellow belly white lace clown and the first one was a special yellow belly lace clown so you're missing only one gene to create this one that'd be special and this girl again is is pretty close probably next year at this point for her being at 920 grams but she's got a lot of size to her look at this 55 dollars with less than two days left, what is what are people thinking? That is what you can create with this. Look beyond what you see with your own two eyes. You look at this animal, you basically say it's pretty much a normal, but it isn't, it isn't. What it can do for you is incredibly insane. Look into the future if you get this animal. Crazy opportunity here. I'm gonna be watching this. In fact, I'm more than watching it. I'll get outbid, but but that's fine. If I don't get outbid, then y'all are insane. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is it's gonna tell me now. I often do this as a strategy. The $5 bid, I'm gonna get outbid. And, and when there's one hour left on this animal, it's going to tell me. It's gonna say, hey, you got an hour left. So that way I can kind of look at it and gauge if I want to keep moving in on this animal, if I want to enter the final bidding war, so to speak. But just incredible what you can do with something like this. Uh, this one's well worth it too, quite frankly. I can't get over how insane these are. They're, they're such great deals. Don't miss out. Last time that Sterling Nelson released a lot of these animals, people got some really great things. And, and that's gonna be the same case here. Now, this one went up crazy in price, uh, 605, but you can see what you can create with it. Get yourself this one here for much cheaper if that's something you want, did not want to go for and get the boy that you breed this to to have yellow belly and quite frankly a little bit more because clown get a visual clown yellow belly well with some of those other genes in there it won't be crazy expensive and you can start creating 
some of the stuff we looked at earlier. This might be one of the most incredible animals I've seen on here for a while. Blackhead confusion, lavender albino het piebald. So this is a, basically a het dream sickle and blackhead is making this just absolutely pop. I, I love this animal so, so much. This male here is incredible. The confusion helps too. Look at this awesome pattern. Honestly, from some of these smaller pictures, when I'm not clicking in on it and looking down on it, it, it looks like an incredible like hog nose, like some of the colors you get from the albinos from hog nose, but with some whites in there instead. Uh, unbelievably awesome looking, so beautiful. I mean, just by itself, the contrast here is wow. Stark white, stark white, beautiful. And then it's just beautiful, crisp orange. The confusion and the blackhead are working together insane chef's kiss on this one this is beautiful and this price is nuts to me you could start working things like this and blowing people's socks off this is insane there's nothing else really to say i'm not gonna spend much more time because it speaks for itself i don't even need to say anything look at this insane perfect segue into hog noses since we always talk about hog noses for a brief period these are the hog noses currently available for auction and there's a little bit more than there has been lately which is nice to see uh, so we're going to highlight a few of them starting with this uh, het leucistic pair and the leucistic hog nose is exactly what you think it would be it's an all white snake now leucistics in hog noses are different from an in ball pythons in being that it is a recessive gene you have two of them here that are both het leucistic and uh, first two are the female first two pictures so this is the female here absolutely gorgeous and then the last two picture of the male at 44 grams and males can be smaller than the females when they breed this one actually looks a little more yellowy so it wouldn't surprise me to hear that there might be something about him that's uh, maybe a polygenic trait or something like that a really cool opportunity when i first saw these like four or five years ago they were going for 10 grand a piece not the heads the visuals so they've come down but who cares they're still up there and they still look amazing so something to think about if this is the sort of project you want to work and it gets you I can't get this to go away. I colored everything, whatever. I'm just leaving it in the video. I don't care. Refresh the page. I don't want to refresh the page. It's part of the video now. They're cool. Now they're blue. Moving along to this super anaconda snow. And the snow is albino and exanthic. So when you get a super conda, it basically eliminates all the pattern on the animal itself and just leaves just one stark color, except for the head. You can see here that you've got a very faint looking head. And if this had not been a super conda, you would have had that faint pattern going along the back of it and if it was just a conda it would have been just little little dots kind of kind of going through there but very cool it almost looks kind of like a leucistic except for it's got like a mask on its head and red eyes of course so very cool these are awesome animals um, i'm hoping to eventually create some of these myself when my hog noses start going another one that's just a het version of that though would be this super conda exanthic het albino and you can see the color difference here what that kind of does is this is more of a kind of a grayish type color. The super condo still wipes out the pattern, but leaves the head pattern of the exanthic. Now the head albino obviously would only be realized if you breed it to another head albino or visual albino, which would then create this. So pretty neat to see what it looks like with just one gene missing. Next up would be the sunburst male. Uh, no bids on him yet, but most sunbursts I have seen go around the two grandish mark. So this could very well be worth it. And this is the combination of albino and sable. And this is a project I'm definitely going to be working. I uh, primarily designed it around this because I love the albino in hog noses. I think it's incredible. These animals look so cool. So if you are in on the sunburst project and you just want to cheat and get the male right off the bat, well, here you go. And then from JMG, our last one here would be this incredibly awesome looking Arctic Sable that's also 66% Het Albino. And that means it's it's basically Het Sunburst. A good chance of it proving out and then the Arctic and the Sable just combining together here in this animal to create something that, that almost resembles a, an Eastern Hognose in terms of its color. Just very dark, very awesome and, and starkly colored. That tells me that it's gonna make an incredible sunburst if that ends end up proving out. So hopefully that is the case. This male does have a lot of power to him. And JMG really works these animals so good. Polygenic traits are very much a thing when it comes to hog noses. Do not think anything otherwise. And JMG is at the top of the game when it comes to cornering in on those polygenic traits. I don't know if there's anything polygenic about this, but I haven't seen one that looks this black, except for from people like him. Back into bull pythons, we're looking at this fire red stripe yellow belly clown. 
Another perfect example of two genes that are very subtle when they're by themselves and mixing it up with fire to create something that's just so colorful and so vibrant. Similar to another one we were talking about earlier would be this very clean pattern and then orangey yellow tinge color, yeah. but right next to something that's more chaotic and rusty orange, very granulated. The contrast is very, very nice and I can't change pictures for some reason, which is a shame. I think Morph Market's dying. <laughs> I can't click on anything but it's beautiful. Just, you can see it here, even though I can't really click me on the first two pictures, apparently. Absolutely incredible. Another one here from Steel City Mutations, just like our last one. Just absolutely amazing things. Great work, great work. Had to show off this one. Uh, it does have a reserve price. It would be this Spider Monarch Girl. The reason I show it off is because it's gonna go for probably cheaper, depending on what that reserve price is. If it beats it, I, I can almost guarantee you that this one will go for quite a bit cheaper. And that is simple, and it's because of the spider gene. There's several different things. Obviously, people will look at the spider gene and sometimes just look down on it because of the, the wobble that it has. And it's actually from an inner ear issue that they have, not from a neurological issue. They have basically balance issues. Not every one of them has it the same. In fact, most of the ones that I've seen don't have anything, but some of them can get pretty wonky. But regardless of the matter, I don't think spider works good with monarch because to me, monarch, it's all about this pattern here. It's all about that darker pattern, the opposite of what it normally is. And Spider reduces that. So I don't, I don't care for it in this combo. But if you're looking beyond the bigger picture, if you want to get into Monarch for cheaper and have a visual Monarch at that, well, this is a great opportunity. I remember I did that with Clown. I didn't want to work Spider Clown, but one of my first clowns I bought as a proven breeder just to start making clowns right away was a Spider Clown girl. She ended up proving out as Enchi as well. And Spider can kind of hide that because Enchi and Spider are both kind of pattern reducing, but it's a way to get into a gene for cheaper. You just have to come to terms with the spider gene. And ideally I, if I got this, would not want to make spider monarchs by any means. I just, just, just nothing against the spider gene. I, I, I don't care to weigh in on that sort of stuff. I just, I think it's just too much, especially in this combo. But with that being said, if you are into Monarch, I'm telling you that, that this is a good one to go for if you can beat that reserve price. Why? Because it will go cheaper than others and because it can get you into Monarch visually right off the bat. You see it right here at a much quicker rate and a much cheaper price. You take advantage of these sorts of things when you can. You just kind of, you know, keep them along until you can eventually no longer need that sort of combo yourself. As soon as you start producing some of the more visual ones right off the bat, that's when you maybe move on from it. Again, Again, that's just my personal take on the combo anyways. It, it still is gorgeous. I, I think it's amazing. Don't get me wrong. I just really like the dark pattern. And since it reduces it, I prefer something that actually enhances it. But again, that's not taking away from the animal because that's more of a personal opinion. Something to definitely look at. If you can beat that reserve price, I think this would be an incredible deal. Just do the same thing that I was recommending before is kind of bid this up in, in sort of increments. This could be well worth it to get in a Monarch and I love Monarch and you know it. This is insane. I do not know what the reserve price is going to be on this. I believe I've seen this animal available for a lot as its regular price. And it is a ready to breed mahogany black pastel paradox pied chimera. It's look at it. That's nuts. It's just just decides to be pure black and then pied and then pure black and then pied and then and then wow just absolutely incredible if you wanted something incredibly unique this is the way to go about it this is a showstopper for sure that looks like it when it was a baby and that's now wow it, it is ready to breed at that too so you you put it into your your production line and you're immediately making cool animals this is immediately something i'm thinking is to you know try to make suma pieds but the fact that black pastel is along for the ride you can make suma black pastel it's just it's incredible i think in a live stream we were talking about mahogany black pastel pieds and here's a a paradox one right here it's just incredible suma pieds already almost look paradox as is the fact that this one is just not even trying to hide it is so insanely cool if you can beat that reserve price this would be the mvp of looking at least on your team in most people's cases up next would be this pastel genetic stripe het monarch from msb reptiles one of the the best monarch breeders out there this is a proven breeder so this is this is a really good way to go too genetic stripe and monarchs are often paired together and that's because the very first monarchs were genetic stripes at the same time, they all came from one breeder, I believe it was Ben, ben Rennick, and uh, they he just bred two dirty looking pastels together and popped out, I believe it was two double visual genetic 
Stripe Monarchs. And, and oddly enough, the person who bought all of that original collection is MSB Reptile. So this could be a progeny. So that's why you see a lot of the genetic Stripe Monarchs out there. But this female here would be ready to go for you right away. I, I definitely show a lot of interest in this one. No reserve price at that. Really cool opportunity. Really cool opportunity. I absolutely love Monarch and everybody knows it. If you want to work Monarch, this, this is a good way to start off right at the bat because she's a proven breeder. You're going to immediately start making Monarchs. If you get yourself a het or a visual, you've got very good chances of doing so. Immediately start working those genetic stripes too because genetic stripe Monarchs are really nice as well. Another one from MSB Reptiles, not a Monarch, would be this trio of snakes. All of them proven would be in this fire true ghost project. And what that means is when you combine hypo and antic together, it looks like what you're going to be getting here is a male fire double head hypo, which when you see ghost, it's the same as hypo, by the way, it's kind of what I, I, I started calling them was ghost. And then desert ghost came along and it became too confusing. So everybody reverted to calling them hypo again. Uh, but anywho, this is a fire, a double head ghost VPI exantic male, and then a normal double head ghost VPI exantic Exantic. Again, ghost is hypo. And then another normal double head hypo Exantic. Uh, all of them proven with that many odds going together right off the bat. And you could start producing visuals right away. You can actually see right here how awesome this really looks. And this is a uh, Exantic hypo vanilla actually. But the funny thing about that is vanilla and fire are well basically the same thing. They, they basically do the exact same thing. I don't know if it's ever been proven that they are the exact same thing but they but they do the same thing quite frankly so that's what you'd be basically making is, is something as awesome as that so so cool and you'd have multiple chances of that and you'd be into it immediately and look at that no reserve for three proven breeders this is a good opportunity for well anybody quite frankly very cool if you wanted to work that project again one last look at that that is what you'd be creating so awesome on to our last three here. We're looking at this pewter puzzle from KDF Reptiles. I got my puzzle from KDF Reptiles and, and she is absolutely insane. She's actually a super pastel het daddy and uh, she actually just laid eggs for me. And I'll tell you what, I've never had a snake get to size so quick, two years. And I'm not kidding you when I say two years, it might actually be technically a little less than two years. In fact, I believe it was that I bought that animal, that it got up to size and when I mean up to size, I don't mean I cheated even one gram. She got up to size. She ate every week for me. And then she stopped when she was like 1600 grams. And I do not power feed, by the way. I fed her just once a week, decently sized rat, just enough for her to take down. I, I paired her with my monarch one time. The whole objective was to get them to eat and I never saw her lock, not a single time. I only had him in there for, I literally think, I don't know, an hour. And then about a month or two later, she laid like eight, I think it was. Now some of them were slugs, but that's probably because I didn't have enough pairings. Not a bunch though. I still got four good eggs and I think it was three slugs. I think that's what it was. So I've got Monarch puzzle hits with cinnamon in the mix and pastel in the incubator right now. And also possibly that weirdo or, or hit daddy gene. I guess what I'm trying to say is you should buy from KDF reptiles if you want to get in the puzzle because they make beautiful puzzles and their animals are ridiculous. I've never had an animal eat so good for me in my whole entire time doing this. Just incredible. Such a great, great animal. So bid with confidence on this. If you want to get into the puzzle project, there's no one better. And the last two are, are really cool ones. Also from Chimera. We always show stuff from Chimera, it seems, uh, but they're really incredibly powerful, but they seem to be for a very good cause. This one here would be this Lace Enchi Clown. We already went over what eight Lace does, uh, but this is a charity auction for Jeremy Bod. And just from a quick little research, he was affected uh, quite greatly from the hurricanes that, that have been happening. Uh, you know, it had a lot of damage to his house and, and car, I know for sure. So yeah. definitely a beautiful animal and for a really good cause at that. This, this animal is very, very powerful. And what you could do for somebody is very, very powerful as well. And then on top of that, here is another one, a pastel hypo 100% hit sunset. Really, really powerful animal, especially with the sunset gene and that, it being a visual hypo at that. I'm also a charity auction for Reptile Relief Fund 101 for hurricane relief. I mean, if anybody just even briefly looks at news or social media in any way, you already know how crazy these hurricanes were. So just 
just just think about that because there's also power here. You're not just buying things, you know, that are just just for a charity, which is great and, and well worth it. But these are powerful. This isn't just some thing thrown out there. It's not just some pastel and hey, we're gonna throw it to charity. So kind of bid it up. No, this is powerful. So you should bid this up and feel good about it while you do it because this is gonna add you some cool stuff if you want to work the sunset project. And that is all the auctions we're gonna cover for today. We've already covered a lot of them. There's a whole whole bunch and my brother is going to be mad because he has to edit these and that's why he wants to go with these live sometimes so you know eventually we are going to experiment with some of this being live on the thursday show well it will be a thursday show because that's when we're recording this but i don't know how we'll do that and it probably won't be every time we're just going to do it probably coming up here maybe uh, to experiment with it and we'll still do the tuesday one here too you know from time to time uh, so far it's been every single week but yeah with that being said Hope you enjoyed. If you wanted to check out a lot of the genetics that we talked about here of up and coming genes, you can check that video out right here.